I have been a health nut outlier, some might say a health nut weirdo, since the 70s. And I'm very concerned about what I put on and in my body. So um, this issue is, is uh, it's hard for me. I, I don't like that we have some things that have health effects that we might put on our bodies. Um, and, but that said, all products have risks, and different people have different risk tolerances. And I would suggest that the information is out there. When I go to buy makeup, I'm looking at a, a website, Environmental Work Group, and I'm checking what things are in the things I'm putting on my body, and I'm deciding, is this product worth the risk of the particular potential carcinogen or whatever that, that you know, my favorite websites are telling me might be in it. So I think sort of the, the internet has created kind of a democratization of data that we can, the private sector can control for this and people can decide their levels of risk that they're willing to deal with. Um, I recently threw out pretty much everything from the 80s in my house because I was concerned about lead and my husband was much more willing to risk uh, you know, those products being in our house than I was. He wasn't too happy when I threw out half the kitchen. So different people have different levels of risk that they're comfortable with. So I would suggest that given the fact that we have uh, had some federal laws being passed, that we consider letting that go and letting people decide for themselves. Because what I fear is, we're going to have something like California, and, and people joke about it, but it's true. You see things, this product has been known to cause cancer in California, you know, and, and people make jokes about that. Uh, I don't want us to go out on a different limb. I would love to see us just stick with the federal regulations and allow people to make their own decisions based on their own level of risk aversion. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I urge a no on this.